crafty lumberjacks. We're so excited to be here for Plaid and to try their new Mod Podge Mega Glitter. I'm so excited yes. to try this. And ah. we've been obsessed lately with um, those little gold glass display cases. They are expensive. They are expensive. So we wanted to try to create our own using vellum paper and of course the Mod Podge Mega Glitter. Ah. Cut your vellum paper into the shapes you want. We're starting with triangles. Yes, so I like to call it an A-frame. I like to call it a Christmas tree. So you call it whatever you want. And we cut out four pieces, one for the back, two for the sides, and one for the base. Just like that. And these are, what are these, two inches thick? These are three inches thick. Oh, three yes, inches thick. of course, you can make it to size however you want. We're gonna be using it on a little countertop. Um, these are the great mini, like miniature ones for like an ornament or a, a gift for a friend. Should we make 30 of these and put them on our tree? No. Now that we have them cut out, it's time to apply the mega glitter. Ah, bum bum bum. And okay. all of the glitter has like different sizes so that it, it, it provides maximum coverage. Ooh. The good thing about Mod Podge, as you probably know, it really does work on so many different um, materials. materials. So we're gonna lay it shiny side down, rough side up. What's great about this is it's non-toxic. We just got a cat. You might see him walking around somewhere. He's hiding. He it's doesn't made like to be on camera. Yeah, it's made in the USA. USA. Ready? Ready. And we just gave that a little stir. Usually we like to uh, pour this out, but we're just gonna use it right from the bottle here. It's really great. You can add a little uh, dazzle, sparkle to any project. And you know what I'm liking about this already? It's really no mess. Because usually I'm used to, you know, you oh put a piece of it sprinkle the oh. glitter. And especially now that we do have a cat, that would be a mess. Yeah, so that would be already it. I'm liking this. So our vellum paper is drying, and uh, we're getting a little worried that once we create the whole thing and put it all together, our A-frames are gonna be a Christmas little- Christmas tree. <laughs> our Christmas tree. They're gonna, gonna be a little, little flimsy, flimsy, so we want to create a sturdy base for it. We're <laughs> using a piece of balsa wood. We're gonna be using some folk art paint, and this is great because it's multi-surface, so it should be perfect. We have a white just for the base, so it looks like a nice snowy scene. Yep, and then we're gonna create little feet by adding beads, uh, gluing it right to the base there. And we're just using a little hot glue here, and then just glue it right to the base. So I'm gonna go a little in, about a half inch in on each side. How's that look? That looks good. What's great about this paint too is it's good for any surface and that it dries relatively quickly. Thank so you can Lord. be a speedy crafter. Wow, okay, that goes on really nicely and basically the top is already dry. I don't even think we need a second coat, which is great because balsa wood does have a tendency to warp when you add paint to it. Mm -hmm. So this is perfect. I think it looks good. Yeah, that's all, all right. you need. A little goes a long way. For our wooden beads, uh, the stands on the bottom of our base here, we're gonna use the green, green C. Sea. Uh, just to add a little extra fun uh, holiday pop of color. I like this because it's not too bright. It's not going to take away, but it is going to add just a little. Oof. Our first coat of our Mod Podge Mega Glitter is dry. So now we're going to add one more coat to the sides and then two more coats to the back, just so the back is really heavy. All our pieces are dry. They look it looks so pretty good. awesome. Yes, now if you have some of your edges that have a little bit of the glitter coming off, you can just even take your nail or a pair of scissors and just get it so it's nice and clean edge. These look really great. They great. look pretty awesome. Oh. And now we're just gonna assemble it all. Awesome. We're gonna lay all our pieces out and we're gonna start using washi tape on the edges, just tape everything together. We're using a silicone mat, and I'm just gonna uh, kind of try to center it as best as I can here. And the silicone mat is helping us just because we have uh, paper lining our table, but if you just have a table, you'll be fine. So we have our uh, houses. <laughs> trees <laughs> ready uh, to finish assembling and we're just gonna kind of fold it in there and then just add a piece of tape on the top and the two sides 
If your tape is being a little temperamental, you can add a little bit of glue into the uh, corners and on the edges there. Just so it's nice and sturdy. We thought it would uh, help complete the look if we added a bit of extra washi tape on the edge there. Yes, I think if we were to do it again, we'd probably do that uh, when it's laying flat. <laughs> yes. But yes. it was actually really easy just to add it on. Yes, off. you learn as you go. Our houses are ready to glue onto the base. Our trees <laughs> are ready to glue onto the base. And we're just gonna use a little bit of craft glue. It dries clear, so we don't have to worry too much about that. One more final step. Time to decorate. Ooh. All right, they turned uh, out super great. They are so cool. We're gonna be using Mega Glitter for everything, everything. this holiday season. These we look can't... great anywhere, like on a mantle. A mantle, just a anywhere shelf. part of your uh, seasonal decor. Thank you so much. Thank if you, you want more crafty ideas, follow us at Crafty Lumberjacks over every social media platform. And we hope you have an amazing holiday season. Bye. Bye. I love these Christmas trees. <laughs>